Well, hey everybody and welcome back. Today I want to talk about three molly panels that I've added to the Tacoma to help organize my camping gear and overland gear while I'm out on my adventures. Let's get into it. Well, pardon the wind. It's a little bit windy today. I hope it doesn't affect the audio quality too much. But let's get into it. I wanted to start with this bed molly panel that I've got in the bed of the Tacoma made by Cali Raised Off-Road. So the first thing that I want to talk about is how this thing is mounted to the bed. Now you can see there's three points at which um, the molly panel attaches to the factory bed rail. And it's fastened by a washer, um, an Allen bolt, and then like a square nut block that slides into the factory bed rail and then it attaches together. Now something that's important to note on these molly panels is you don't have any adjustability on where they get mounted. Obviously it's a solid frame and so um, how it's set up is how it is and that's where it's gonna have to be mounted on the three top pieces and then on the bottom um, you utilize these torque bolts that hold in, that fasten in these bed boxes in the Tacoma bed. All right, so the reason why I mentioned that is because as overlanders, we're always adding stuff to the bed of our trucks. In my case, I've got this CBI overland bed rack with a rooftop tent mounted to it. Uh, prior to that, I had a camper shell. Now, if you've got some overland bed bars, kind of like these guys, you will probably have a little bit of flexibility flexibility on where exactly you set these and mount these uh, bed bars however with my camper shell i didn't have any flexibility and i know many bed racks you don't have any flexibility there's very specific uh, places that they needed to be mounted and so sometimes the mounting locations can interfere with one another and that's what happened with uh, my camper shell when i had that originally so let's talk about that so the camper shell had three specific mounting points um, that were not flexible. And in my situation, I was able to cut off the top of these mounting points on the molly panel and still be able to make things like squeeze in and fit. Now, it's okay that it didn't have the top piece because with enough tightening, um, the molly panel was fixated in place. It was not going anywhere. And so that's just something to take in consideration if you've got a bed rack or a um, camper shell or something like that, just take that into consideration before picking something like this up. Make sure uh, everything's gonna fit right because you may have some fitment issues. Okay, so real quick, let's talk about how I've got this thing set up. Now over on this side, I've got my Fisker's ax and hatchet mounted to the molly panel. And I just throw those on when we're going on a camping trip. Uh, we just got back for one, so these things will be coming off tonight. Now also right over here on this side, I usually mount something like a little, it's like one of these little molly pouches. Now I usually leave this pouch inside the truck so it doesn't get stolen but when i'm out on a camping trip i'll throw this up here inside it i've got some charging cables uh some lights and it's right next to this charge port and so i can kind of throw stuff in the bag and just let it charge while we're out at camp um these little lights are actually worth talking about for a second here um they've got a magnetic backing and an on and motion setting and so very cool they'll attach anywhere i can attach them to the molly panel, I can attach them to uh, the bed rack. I actually have a little 3M mount that's on the bottom of the rooftop tent, so it kind of illuminates my cooking area. And with the motion setting, these are something that I can leave on all night long and they'll be off as long as there's no movement. But if I get out of the tent in the middle of the night, these things will pop on for me and give me a little bit of lighting, which I think is a great feature. So pretty cool. Now on this side, I've got a fire extinguisher that I leave mounted in here full time. It's set up on a quick release. So I like to leave it here just in case. Now, somebody could probably steal it. Thankfully, no one has yet. Um, on this side, I will be mounting a 10 pound propane tank that I use for my fire pit. Probably right here in this area. I've got something to mount it. I just don't know how I'm gonna attach it yet. So 
Stay tuned and you'll probably see that in some future videos. Now where I think Molly panels really shine is when you're not seeing how much stuff you can fit on them, but more you're just using them for organization. What are the key items that you need to access frequently that can be in plain line of sight? That's when I think that they can really be useful. So I've got some in the interior as well. Let's go check those out. Okay, so my interior has been, it's been a major focus of mine recently and I've got another video coming out probably in a couple weeks. I'm just waiting on some other items to come in. So we'll get to some of this because I know you guys are gonna have questions. But to get back to the Molly panels, I picked up these um, sun visor Molly panels off of Amazon. Uh, at first I just got the one on the driver's side. And the reason why I picked it up is I really wanted to find a visible place within hands reach that I could put my headlamp. Um, I go camping on Friday nights all the time, get to camp, it's super dark. My headlamp, I've got a rechargeable blue uh, black diamond headlamp that I absolutely love and I just wanted just a really great place, a visible place to put that thing. Um, I also, with the little bungee cord aspect it has here, I really like mounting my sunglasses on here. Um, for my for the occasion when my wife comes I've also got a headlamp mounted up there for her and then she can mount up her sunglasses in the passenger side as well all right something to take into consideration on these things is these things can lose their luster over time and actually when I did this modification I replaced the sun visor completely I bought another one off of Amazon I'll link that as well um, and they add a little bit of weight and so even with that new one in you can kind of see it does sag just a little bit um, look I really like having the functionality of having the headlight right here the sunglasses right here as you can see it doesn't obstruct my visibility at all I'm 5'9 so this is one where I think a lot of people are gonna think it's really cool a lot of people are gonna think it's really stupid but to each your own make your own decision um, I think they're pretty cool all right, now this one back here, I really like this one a lot. Uh, also ordered this one off of Amazon and that attaches right to these bolt locations um, underneath the handles. It comes with some hardware. The nuts are a little bit extended so you're able to put those handles back on um, over the Molly panel and it's really easy to set up. Now I kind of had to use my head to balance like the opposite side when I was installing that side. I balanced that on top of my head to be able to work things into place. It does have some weight to it and so it's not something that it's just easily done with just two hands. So fair warning on that. Um, but what I have mounted on it is these pouches. Now I actually have a couple different things that are on the way and so it's not staying accessorized how it is right now. Um, that video that I mentioned that's coming up pretty soon. When those things get in here, get in and I install them, I will update you guys on the exact pouches. But let me show you real quick. So it's no secret, these Tacoma cabs are tiny. I've got a family of four and I'm always taking kids on these trips. And so finding new and creative ways of storing gear and maintaining organization with some things like this, um, definitely help out a lot. The type of gear that I've got in these pouches right now are like I've got a spare hand radio. This is my Baofeng BF8HP radio. Um, I've got some accessories for that in this other pouch. And then in some of these other pouches, I've got various uh, backup charging cables, USB, USB-C, Apple Watch, iPhone, chargers, I've got a Bluetooth speaker, all sorts of stuff that I love having on these camping trips um, that I want to know where they're at. Like I said, so I've had these pouches for quite a long time. They used to be mounted back here um, on this Molly panel on this side when I had the camper shell, but now that I don't have that security, I've moved them into the interior. And so, as I mentioned, I do have some other pouches and organization type Molly accessories coming. Once those get in here, I will do another video just kind of go going over all the Overland interior gear stuff that I've done because there's a bit more than I've alluded to and 
Definitely some cool features that I'd like to talk to you guys about in the near future. If you have any questions about any of these Molly panels, let me know down in the comments. I think that wraps it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you out there. We'll catch you in the next video.